Once upon a time, in a quiet and colorful village called Harmonyville, there lived a group of curious and playful children. These children loved to learn new things and explore the world around them. Their village was known for having the best education, and this is the story of how they came to believe that. In Harmonyville, the children had a wise and kind teacher named Mr. Wisebeard. Mr. Wisebeard had a long, flowing white beard that reached down to his knees. He was known throughout the village for his wisdom and his love for teaching. He had a simple yet profound philosophy about education. The best education is the one that makes you curious, kind, and happy. One sunny morning, Mr. Wisebeard gathered all the children under the ancient oak tree in the center of the village. He told them about a special quest to find the best education and how they could achieve it. We will embark on a journey of learning and discovery, he said. But remember, the best education is not found in books alone. It's all around us, in nature, in our hearts, and in the kindness we share with others. The children were filled with excitement and set out on their adventure. Their first stop was the village library, where they read books about far-off lands and different cultures. They learned about the wonders of the world, and their curiosity grew. Next, they visited the village gardener, Mrs. Greenfingers. She taught them about the magic of plants and how to care for the earth. The children planted flowers and vegetables and learned that kindness extended to nature too. As they continued their journey, they encountered people from various backgrounds and listened to their stories. They discovered that being open-minded and respectful of others was an essential part of the best education. One day, they met an elderly storyteller named Grandma Willow. She told them tales of wisdom, courage, and kindness. The children realized that stories held valuable lessons and that imagination was a key part of the best education. They also met a group of musicians who showed them the beauty of melodies and rhythms. Music made their hearts dance, and they learned that the best education included creativity and art. Throughout their adventure, the children discovered that the best education wasn't confined to a classroom. It was a journey that involved the whole village, the world around them, and the love in their hearts. When they returned to Harmonyville, they realized that Mr. Wisebeard's words were true. The best education was about being curious, kind, and happy. It was about learning from books, from nature, from stories, and from people. It was about finding joy in every moment and sharing that joy with others. The children, now a little wiser and a lot happier, continued to explore, learn, and grow, knowing that the best education was an ongoing adventure that would last a lifetime. And so, in Harmonyville, the quest for the best education never truly ended, and the children and their wise teacher cherished every step of their journey together.